Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. There's news out today that uh, Keith One Time Thurman has gotten injured, um, and he has had uh, surgery on his elbow, and it's turning out that he's going to be out to the end of uh, 2017, man. Um, this postpones a lot of things that Keith Thurman had knocking at his door, uh, most notably the Sean Porter defeating Andre Berto, becoming the WBC number one contender, puts him in line for a rematch with Keith One Time Thurman. Uh, my main man, Lamont Peterson, um, he's the number one contender, but he owes the WBA regular title at welterweight. So that makes him also a mandatory challenger to uh, Keith One Time Thurman's WBA world title. So those are two mandatory challenges right there. And on top of that, we got Earl Spence and Kell Brook fighting next week. And of course, the winner of that wants to have Keith Thurman in the unification match, man. So um the news that comes out today, you know, and of course, Keith one time Thurman has pictures of his bruises and stuff like that, man. And and uh, he's saying he's going to be out to the end of 2017. Now, I've said before, make no mistake about it. Um, I've said before that this is what fighters do. You know what I'm saying? Um, fighters come up injured when it's time for mandatories in a lot of cases because injuries can postpone mandatories. You know what I'm saying? Just like in a lot of cases, unifications can postpone mandatories. But in this particular case, man, there's a uh, there's people out there and they're saying that they believe that Keith One Time Thurman could possibly be faking this. You know what I'm saying? You know, let's 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 you know let's cut the shit. Simple matter, you know, the, the, the fact of the matter is this: I don't give a damn if he is or if he isn't. You know, there are certain lines in boxing that I will not cross. You know what I'm saying? My thing is, if a person deserves respect, he should get that respect. There's no other fighter in boxing today, ladies and gentlemen, that their last two victories have been as significant as Keith Thurman's. Keith Thurman gave us a fight against Danny Garcia in which he beat him. And then he turned around and gave us a, a fight before that with Sean Porter in which he beat him. And I'm, I'm fully aware of the frustration of a lot of fans when it comes to Keith Thurman because he's always so inactive. He only usually gives us maybe one good fight a year, then he claims some sort of injury. We've been hearing this shit for years from Keith Thurman. This ain't nothing new, whether it's motorcycle accidents, whether it's this injury, whether it's tendonitis, whether it's that injury. It's nothing, you know, it's always something when it comes to Keith one time Thurman. But at this present day and time, this dude has earned my respect. So if he's using this injury real or fake, you know what I mean? I don't care which one really it is. If he's using this to, to strategically set him up for whatever fight that he guys got his eyes on, the fact of the matter is that we know once Keith one time Thurman returns to the ring, he will be either facing Sean Porter, Lamont Peterson, Kell Brook, or Earl Spence. If he tie, He's even called out Manny Pacquiao. So that, that's the list of opponents that we know that are on the horizon for Keith One Time Thurman. And that would then mean that he would have then fought Showtime Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, and then one of the guys that I've just mentioned. That's three straight fights. There ain't no one else in boxing doing it at that caliber, at that level, in that type of succession. So for those who out there want to talk all this shit about Keith Thurman, man, do your dizzle. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not. I have the utmost and highest respect for Keith One Time Thurman. He's a unified champion. He's has two his last two fights have been off the charts, off the chain in my book. You know what I mean? This dude deserves nothing but respect. Now, I'm not Keith One Time Thurman. I do believe like I said he will fight one of the fighters that I named. It may just be on his time and not our time or their time. It will be on his time. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? He's earned that Right. I respect belts. I respect champions. You know what I'm saying? And champions earn the rights to do these things. Clearly, he has mandatories. He'll be be threatened with having to vacate titles. You know what I mean? He'll have all kind of problems in the next few months if something doesn't happen to postpone these mandos. Now, I personally want to see him fight the mandos. But what if he says, I don't want to fight? Showtime Sean Porter again right away because it's not going to be even though to us fans we would like to see it but maybe in his mind he wants to make it bigger and that's besides he's been there done that 
You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. Been there, done that. Maybe he doesn't want to turn around and face Lamont Peterson right now. Maybe, just maybe, he wants to unify and go for a third title. Isn't that what people who love the beat the drum of undisputed once? Well, guess what? Keith one time Thurman just pulled a trick out the hat that would allow him to keep his two titles and possibly fight for a third. Because I don't see either one of those sanctioning bodies getting in the way with a mandatory when you're talking about two for a unification of that big of, of you know, on, on that level, especially dealing with Earl Spence or Kell Brook. What if he wants to do that? What if he wants to go after Manny Pacquiao and unify with the WBO champion? What if he wants to do that? The fact of the matter is, ladies and gentlemen, we don't know. Fighters use injuries for so many different reasons. Am I saying that Keith Thurman's injury is not real? I'm not saying that neither. Maybe he is legitimately hurt. But the fact of the matter is, with this injury, a whole road of options are now available to Keith One Time Thurman. And on, honestly, for those of you who love to talk this undisputed talk, you've just gotten that much closer. And, you know, it is what it is. You know, us uploaders need to remember something, man. We ain't boxers. Unless you all box it heads off to you. But we ain't boxers. Who the fuck are we to tell somebody whether they're injured or not? Who the fuck are we? We sit at home. You know what I mean? We ain't fucking boxers. I mean, come on, Joe. Give this man, unified champion, coming off two great victories. Give this man his respect. He earned that shit, man. So whether he's hurt or not, Keith One Time Thurman. You have earned the right, my man, to take your time and you come back whenever the fuck you want. And that's coming from Main Man Made Man. Real talk. So to the next video, Main Man Made Man, don't forget to subscribe to Twitter, Made Man 511, Facebook, Main Man Made Man Boxing Forum, Google Plus, Main Man Made Man. You know, I mean, people don't, I think people get far and remove and forget what boxers go through. You know what I'm saying? What they got to do all year round is stay in shape. The sp they, a lot of boxers never leave the gym. You know what I mean? This is what they got to do to remain on that championship level. Keith one time Thurman clearly has figured out a way to say, hey, I want to be one of those boxers just like Floyd Mayweather Jr. I want to fight once or twice a year tops and keep my body young, keep my body fresh. And when I walk away from this sport, I'll have all my faculties and all my brain cells, yada, yada, yada. Y'all know that talk. Maybe he's looking at things that way. And if he is, I ain't mad at him. To the next video. Peace out.